In this video, I'll define the total sum of squares, the differences between within versus between sum of squares. I'll also show you how to calculate all three. The total sum of squares is a measure of how a data set varies around a central number like the mean. You might see it written as TSS or SST. It's telling you how much variation there is in the dependent variable. There's a couple of ways to calculate it. If you already have sum of squares between and sum of squares within, you can add those two together to get the total. If you don't have that data, you can calculate the total sum of squares by calculating the difference between each score and the grand mean. You then square all the differences and then add those differences up. Let's take a look at a simple example. You find the mean by adding those up and dividing by three, that gives us five. You then subtract the mean from each of those items. If we square all of those results and add them together, we get a total sum of squares of eight. Calculating the total sum of squares gets a little more difficult for larger sets of data. But in the next example, I'll walk you through finding it for eight items. Before I do that, let's take a look at the sum of squares within and between. That's because one way to calculate the total sum of squares is to add those two together. Sum of squares within represents variation due to individual differences in the score. Between sum of squares is the variation of each mean around the grand mean. These sound very similar, but the meaning should become clearer if we work through an example. Let's say we had this set of data. We have data from three groups. The first thing is to find those group means. There are three items in group one. If we add those together and divide by three, we get 22. Group mean two is also three items. So adding those together and dividing by three gives us 23. Group three has two items and the mean there is going to be those two items divided by two, our mean is 26. Now we can calculate the sum of squares within. We're going to take each data point and compute the difference between the score and the group mean. We're going to have to do eight calculations, one for each score. Those differences get squared. And then we're going to add up all of those squared differences to get SSW. For eight data points, the calculation gets a little lengthy, so you can probably see why it's a good idea to use software. Most ANOVA tests are gonna have a lot more than eight points. This calculation for SSW gives us 244. Next, we are going to tackle SSB, or sum of squares between. For each subject, we want to calculate the difference between its group mean and the grand mean. For the grand mean, we're going to add all of the scores together and divide by eight. That gives us 23.375. So instead of individual scores here, we're comparing groups. We're going to square those differences and sum the square differences. This means we have to do eight separate calculations. The group mean for each data item and the grand mean, that's going to be squared. And we're going to have to add up all of those. When we do that, we get 19.875, and that is our sum of squares between. For the sum of squares total, if you have already calculated SSW and SSB, all you need to do is add those together to get the sum of squares total. If you have not calculated SSB and SSW, then the way you find the sum of squares total is the way we did before with that simple example. For each subject, find the difference between each score and the grand mean. Square those differences and then add all of them up. Our SST for this data set is 263.875. If you found the video helpful, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.